We've also been thinking that estrogen's really dangerous, but testosterone's not dangerous. So it's not dangerous to give women testosterone, but it is dangerous to give them estrogen. And I think this myth has been perpetuated for way too long. Some women feel great on the, even, you know, on a little bit of testosterone and it's, it's fine. It's really more about how you feel, but we can learn a little bit about pathophysiology of the body from the literature. For example, things that we can gleam are vaginal health is a really big area that we can look at and the different sex hormones and how they impact vaginal health. This and then our metabolic health. And these two things we know for sure. So for example, when you give a woman only testosterone, even in small doses, and you don't give her any other hormone like progesterone and estrogen, and this is actually really common practice for a lot of a lot of HRT clinics, they will only give women testosterone. They'll tell them that, hey, your testosterone's low and all these other hormones are are normal, supposedly. Maybe we just don't have to interpret the labs, but um, they're just telling them that the testosterone's low because it's the only reference interval that's been optimized, right? It's the only one that we've actually done the literature on. So testosterone's the hormone that we have. Um, and so they'll start having them inject that. And we see that the, the vaginal microbiome becomes incredibly disrupted. So what happens is the, um, when we talk about microbiomes, usually we want them to be diverse, right? So in the gut and the skin and everywhere, we want them to be diverse, but in the vagina, we don't, we don't want diversity there. We only want like a, we only want like a few strains of bacteria or organisms that maintain the pH, right? So we want that pH to be really acidic. And lactobacillus acidophilus is the predominant one. There's a few others that researchers have found that are there that keep the pH really low, low so it's acidic. And this prevents HPV infections. It prevents yeast infections. It's an area that's open to infection, right? So we want to make sure that you don't have infections there. And this is, the lactobacillus acidophilus is incredibly important for that. It, in, it really crowds out all these other bacteria. So when women, when they start to have perimenopause symptoms, they start to get more yeast infections or bacterial vaginosis. And bacterial vaginosis is simply just bacteria diversity that's there that's not supposed to be there. It's not really from like sexual partners or increased sexual interaction. It's really just from this low pH that's not being maintained that's supposed to be there. So they're susceptible to even their own skin flora, like getting into the vaginal cavity. And so when we give somebody testosterone, so this bacteria needs estrogen to make its food. And I think this is what we've learned from the literature is that women, when you give them only testosterone, they're going to develop this diverse diversity in the microbiome that shouldn't be there. They will get more, they're more susceptible to vaginal infections if, in, if you, unless you give her estrogen too. 